Hey there everybody, this is Dr. D and welcome back to Mousecraft. We are halfway through the level, so let's continue on with 41. Okay, let's see, we've got a crystal and a bomb down below and two crystals on top. So we are gonna need to split up our mice again. The easiest way to do that is to use a crumbling brick. This way. One of them will go on top, and two of them will stay down below. Okay. Now, we want to get rid of this brick right here, because it creates a wall for this mouse to get towards the cheese. Now, if we blow up this brick, and only this brick, this one will drop down, and will still block off this passageway for our two mouse down, mice down below to get up. So we want to blow up this one as well. Well, we've got an exploding brick with a one square radius. So this one will now blow up this brick and this brick entirely. And it'll also have our mouse turn around to go towards this crystal. Well, because we collected our bomb down below, now we can blow up this brick right here in order to create our bridge for our first mouse to collect the crystal. Now, for the final part, this mouse obviously needs to cross this gap, but also we need these two to get up. And right now they walk against this wall of this brick right here, so we need a way to get rid of this brick or at least part of it. Well, we have one more exploding brick, which we can put down like this. If we were able, if we put it down like this, it'll blow up this and this square both at the same time, making it impossible for our mouse to get up again. But if we put it in like this, this way it'll only blow up the upper half of this brick and leave this lower part down here and we are gonna need that because he will activate the exploding bomb bricks and now we can create our stairs for these two mouse to go up if we would have put that exploding brick the other way around this one would have blown up as well and our mouse wouldn't be able to go up so this is the way to do it. And next. Okay, a little bit of a longer level right here. We've got a crystal up here and a bomb in between here. And we've got, let's see, a crystal right here. And a crystal right here. So, let's see. Well, first of all, we need our mice to at least get up here, of course. Now, we could use our crumbling bricks to do that, but only two of our mice will be able to go up. And we want to get them up all three. So, we are not going to use our crumbling bricks. And also not our jelly one. Because we probably are going to need that over here for this crystal in some way. So we are just going to use our regular bricks. So we put this one down here and we use this one like this. This way we've got our stairs up. Now we need to collect this crystal but also this bomb. We've got two of our crumbling bricks right here. And the easiest one to use is this like this. This way our first mouse will go up and collect this crystal. The second one will crumble this, this and this brick in order for this one to drop down. So our third mouse will also drop down and collect the bomb. Luckily, he will also survive this drop because of the water. So we don't have to worry about that. And we also don't have to use our jelly block. Now for this part, we at least want one of our mice to go up and go towards this crystal. Well, the only way we are gonna 
cross this gap is by using our jelly block like this. And the only way we are gonna go up here is if we use our crumbling brick like this. This way, let's see, all three of our mice will go up, collect the crystal, the second one crumbling the bricks, and the third one dropping down. Now, for this part, two of our mice will be able to go over. And I'm pausing it right here. This mouse is safe. You will go up on this jelly block and will be away from the blast radius. But I'm pausing it for this fella right here. If he just keeps walking against this wall, he will turn around and go back in the water and die. So we need him to go down and collect this crystal. Well, because he collected the bomb that was right here, we can blow up this brick and now we can go down. It glitched out a little bit, but that's okay. And now all of our mice will just walk towards the cheese. Next. Okay, so now we are introduced to electric bricks. What do electric bricks do? Well, they kill our mice on touch. Let me show you. Once they touch it, they die. So we need to find a way to use these electric bricks, but not have our mice touch them. Well, what we can do is something like this this way we cover the entire electric brick and we can collect this bomb but not this crystal so maybe we do this a little bit differently for instance if we switch these blocks around like this this way they can also collect the crystal for the next part this electric brick is in the way and we can't really use our exploding brick in any way in order to get rid of it entirely because it only has a one square radius of explosion so we will never be able to get rid of this one right here however another way to get rid of it is using this bomb which we are gonna collect so now we can just blow it up all the way for the final part we have still an electric wall right here. Now luckily we've got a lot of exploding bricks. So if we cover it all in exploding bricks, this will all blow up and our mice will be able to get across. But because we are working with exploding bricks, we need to split up our mice again. So let's put in a wall in between. So these two are safe, he will activate the exploding bricks, turn back around. In the meantime, all of this will blow up. And he is now gonna collect this final bomb right here in order to blow up our safety wall. And now our final two mice can go towards the cheese like this next okay we've got a crystal here and a crystal here and no bombs so we need to get a way to get across this electric brick well the easiest way to do that is just covering it in normal bricks. This way we collect the crystal, one of our mice will go up and activate this exploding brick and blow up most of these electric bricks, but not all of them, because it has a one square radius of explosion. So this way one electric brick is still left down here and once our mice go over here and down they will die by touching this brick 
So we need to get rid of this one as well. Well, we can do that by using our other exploding brick, like this. This way, this part will also drop down while being activated by the explosion of this one and blow up the final part of the electric brick. So once it has happened, these mice will all be safe down here and I've also collected this crystal down here because the crumbling bricks will obviously crumble down. So he can collect this one, the electric brick is blown up and now we use our final brick to create our bridge again and now our mice can just walk over, drop down safely and get towards cheese. Next. Okay, more electric bricks. Let's see. Well, we've got a crystal here, here, and also up here. So we need to find a way to have our mice go over. Let's see. Well, first we want to get over this electric brick right here. So let's put this one down here. And how are we going to get across this one? Well, not really. But we do have a bomb. So we can just blow this one up. Now we want to collect this crystal. Which we can do like this. But the thing is... Once we go over here and collected this crystal, we need a way for our mice to go back up again. While we have exploded this brick with this bomb, so this one will drop down. But if we put this brick like this, it'll create a wall right here. So our mice will our mice will don't be able to get up. So we need to do this a little bit differently. We need to put it down like this. This way the effect here is still the same. But now they are one up here. And once this brick has dropped down, they can go up towards this crystal. But first we need to collect this bomb. And we need to blow up this electric wall in order for our mice to even get towards the cheese. Well, since we are gonna need this bomb to blow up this brick, we are going to need our exploding bricks in order to get rid of these electric bricks. Well, because of the one square radius, this entire thing will be blown up, so that's fine. But we need a way to activate it safely without having our mice somewhere within radius. So we do this with a crumbling brick. Now, if we do the same thing like we did over here, this will not be safe because two of our mice will be able to go up and the second one will kill himself. So now we actually do put it down like this because this way only one will go up here and once the second one gets over here, the third one will have crumbled this brick and it'll drop down. Let's see. So they collect the first crystal. They collect the bomb and the crystal. The first one will activate this while these two are safe. And now we only need to blow up this one right here in order for our mice to go up and collect this crystal. And now it doesn't really matter if we put our final brick like this or like this. In the end, it's all the same because now they can get towards cheese. Next. Okay, we've got a redoid and now we can put down some electric bricks on our own. So, let's see. Well, we want to collect this bomb and these three crystals, obviously. Now, this bomb is used to blow up this brick because we have no exploding bricks 
and we still want to collect this crystal. So this bomb is used for this brick. That is something we have to do. But how are we gonna get that? Well, let's see. We need to make something of a bridge over here. Which we can do, for instance, by using this electric brick and make somewhat of a bridge structure. Now, luckily, he will kill himself and we can use this one like this in order to collect the bomb. Now, why I did this like this, I'll show you in a little bit because we also want to collect this crystal right here. But first, let's continue over here. This way, our mice will go over and drop down here, but we want to collect this crystal as well. How are we going to do that? Well, again, we need our electric brick to have something of a supportive function in order for our regular brick to be able to walk across safely. Now, we want this to be somewhere around here for instance but it's not high enough so we want to get it over here but it's going to drop down one square so we need our electric brick some way in order to prevent that like this this way our mice will go up collect the bomb and collect the crystal right here but then here comes the funny part for all of this right here. Because I told you that we use the bomb in order to blow up uh, this brick right here in order to collect this crystal. And why I used all of these bricks like this is because once we blow up this brick, this will all drop down, creating a bridge to collect this crystal right here like this so we can collect this crystal drop down collect this one and go towards the cheese next remember water conducts electricity because there is an electric brick right here in the water, all of this water is electrified. So once our mice even touch the water, they will die. But let's not worry about that. We first have a level here to solve. We need our mice to at least get up here and collect this bomb and also collect this crystal. So we need to build a lot of stairs and bridges. So let's see. Well. Once our mice start walking, we want to get rid of this guy right here because it is in the way. I want to see all of the level. Get out! Anyway, our mice will go over here, walk against the wall and turn back. And then we start building our stairs. There you go. So. What do we use for our stairs? Well, we can use this one, for instance. So now they can go up and we use our long brick in order to create a bridge over here. This way they can go and collect this bomb. Like this. Now, we want to get on top of here, collect this crystal and get over here safely. Well, we can use our square block to at least get on top of here. And now we need to make somewhat of a bridge across here to collect this crystal. So we need to get as far away as possible as we can. We can collect this crystal, but now our mice will drop down. So we need to have the second half of our bridge right here. So this way they will drop down safely and get across. Now, we know that water conducts electricity, but we collected a bomb, so we can blow up this electric brick. This way the water is safe again, 
and now they can collect this bomb in order to blow up this brick that is blocking the cheese they can collect the final crystal and finish the level next okay we've got some crumbling bricks again an electric block block in the water and we've got two crystals to collect right here and a bomb and a way to get up to the orchard cheese well first let's have a look at again what we have to do all three of our mice have to go up here so we need to fill in this square right here in order for our mice to go up so we at least have to put this brick right here this way we can at least do the rest of the level without being confused about where to use this brick right here because this is something we have to do okay now we want to get either one or two of our mites up in order to collect this crystal and have a way to collect this bomb and have at least one of our mice stay down here to collect the, this crystal so we use a crumbling brick again this way two of our mice will be able to go up and one will stay down below now let's see we need a way for our mice to collect this bomb and still have a safe way to continue the level let's see well what we can do for instance is something like this this way both of these mice will be able to go over collect this bomb and we can use this bomb in order to blow up the electric block so at least the water is safe again so let's do that first now luckily because of this all crumbling down he will be able to get across as well and now we have our bomb in order to blow up the electric block now for the final part once all of our mice are down here we want to get them back up so we finish our stairs like this and now they can all just walk across up towards the cheese and next so we've got some more electric walls and as you can see also a crystal on the left and a crystal on the right side of the cheese so we need at least one of our mice to go towards the cheese from the left and one of them from the right and we need to find a way to get rid of all these electric walls well we've got two exploding bricks and two bombs so obviously we are gonna use these four in order to blow up these four walls But first, let's collect this bomb in order for us to use it. Well, we need to split up our mice, as we've already seen by the way these crystals are. So, this way, two of our mice will go up and collect the bomb, while the third one will stay down here. And we will put this one right here, in order for him to activate and blow up the first wall. Now, these mice that collected the bomb, one of them will also have to drop down here to collect this bomb, while the other one has to go up and collect this crystal. So how do we do that? Well, let's see. If we start our level right now, He will drop down and collect it, the bomb. So now we can split them up again, like this. This way, he will be able to go up and collect his crystal while he collected the bomb. Now, since we've got two bombs right now, we need to use them in order to blow up some of these electric walls. Oh. 
if we put this one down here in order for him to blow up this wall maybe he will actually kill himself because he will be within the blast radius he won't that's convenient so now we got rid of two of our electric walls we use our bombs in order to get rid of the other two now they will collect the crystals down here and go all the way towards the right side of the level now luckily we have a little bit of a wall right here so our mice will join up as they come towards this point like this and now we just need to make our final stairs up this way and now they also can collect the final crystal and get towards cheese three four next okay we've got a few bombs to collect here here and here a crystal right here a crystal right here and two parts of electrified water well let's see because we are gonna work with an exploding brick we are probably gonna want to split up our mice again so let's see if we do this and let's pause it real quick right here our mice will go up collect the bomb and walk into the electrified water well, we don't want that however we can use this exploding brick right here like this and let's think for a minute because he has a one square radius so he will blow up all of the electric bricks right here but also these two right here making these two drop down this way our mice will be able to go over and in between here but once they have get got across here let's forget this electric block for a minute if they collect this crystal and go back they will just be stuck here and they won't go back towards this part of the level where they will get stuck anyway so because we are right now working with an exploding brick let's split up our mice and let's do that like this this way now if we have our mouse collect this bomb and go back we can use one of our bombs in order to blow up well the only bomb we have oh no we have a second bomb right here these guys will collect this bomb we can use one of them to blow up this brick collect this crystal and then we find a way to get back up again so let's see he activates this one this will all blow up we blow up this one as well and collect the crystal now let's see we need a way to get back up and also collect this bomb let's see maybe if we do something like I don't know this and this oh we killed our mouse do that again and do it like this this way he will collect this bomb go over here and we will blow up this brick electric brick real quick and collect the crystal now once he has collected the crystal like this he will turn back around and once he gets over here we need to finish our stairs up here to get towards the cheese now we've got one more so if we put it down like this he will just be able to go back up towards the cheese and since we have one more bomb we can blow up this brick right here 
and then these two will just go over towards the cheese. Now we did use a jelly block right here, making me think we didn't do this again in the intended way. What is the intended way? I don't know, maybe you guys figure it out. Go play this game, go f towards this level yourself and see if you can find a way where this jelly block is used somewhere useful and not just as part of the stairs. Anyway, those were levels 41 through 50. I hope you found this useful and I will see you guys in the next one.